Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. This game should be uploaded for the 9th of September 2022. Washington Post expert level game, but I have to warn you, uh, if you have not played the online Washington Post games of Sudoku before, is that it is random. So uh, I, there will be two links in the description. Please visit the Washington Post to click on the advertising for them and keep Sudoku free and then there will be a separate link which leads to Sudoku exchange with the digits already filled in for this particular puzzle uh, because otherwise we have no idea it's, it's as I say it's a random game that comes up so uh, it's, this is the only way I can do it really um, so uh, now I can't tell you what's happening in the news because I'm playing this game on Thursday not on Friday it's just I'm so busy with work on Friday I'm not going to have any chance to play any games, so I thought I'd play this game on Thursday evening and upload it for Friday, so you have something to bitch about. <laughs> something to complain about uh, my gameplay in this game, if it turns out to be a bad one anyway. Um, tomorrow, otherwise, uh, you'll be Sudoku-less from Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku. We can't have that, can we? We don't like to have days without Sudoku. Not only that, my viewer numbers will fall because <laughs> unlike uh, YouTube which has some kind of permanent videos if you know what I mean you know some videos are everlasting right uh, when you use as I do a kind of daily game like this uh, you get a lot of uh, views on the first two days and then after that nobody ever goes back to watch them or hardly ever watches any and so uh, if I don't put up today's um, if I don't put up games daily, uh, I lose all of my viewers, <laughs> uh, which is a shame, but never mind. Can't be helped. Well, it could be helped, but I mean, it would mean taking on a different tactic, and I haven't got time to do that for the moment. Uh, three is blocking, as you can see, and the three will appear in that square there. Three is blocking up here and up here. By the way, if you haven't played the Washington Post expert level game before online, I have to warn you, it is very variable. I mean, it goes from super easy to extremely difficult. really have no idea. They all, all of the newspaper games tend to do that, um, but the Washington Post is an extreme example of, rather like the Guardian, I think, actually, but possibly even worse than the Guardian in terms of uh, how varied it can be at times. Right, okay, we've done the threes. Um, what else should we do? Um, okay, we have nines across like this and a nine down there. So let's stick a nine there. Nine up, nine down, oops, and nine across here. So that's a nine. Line up this column and this column and across here. Nines are finished, three and nines are finished. What else do we have a lot of? Four blocking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. Jumping the gun a bit there. Well, this will do four across here. So four is one of these two squares blocking, one of these two squares blocking down here. And then four blocking up here across here and here, so that will be a four. Four's up like this, and across here, that's a four. And now we can finish off the fours. There we go. Also, we've got plenty of. Well, I see a 7 blocking this square and a 7 blocking this square, so for this row, that's where the 7 must appear. We actually have 7s blocking across these rows, so 7 there. Now, uh, since the 7 blocks here, 7 has got to be one of these two squares, meaning that can't be 7. 7 blocking up here and up here, that's a 7. Uh, 
6 blocks this square, 6 blocks this square in this column. We don't have a 6 yet, so we do it now. Right, I guess we must have uh, gone through all of the easy ones by now, surely. Yeah, I think so. It looks like it. Let's just check then. So let's see what we can place where. Okay, eight, so what we need, eight's blocking like this, so eight goes there. And eight across this row, across this row, and down here, that's our eight. And that's finished now. Oh, nine is done anyway. Uh, okay, so what's left? Right, we have uh, seven blocking here, seven blocking here, seven blocking here, so that has to be a seven. Seven across here, across here, and up there, so that would be our seven, seven to place up there, finish now. <clears throat> So we're looking for one, two, five, and six. One down here, one up here, that would be our one. One digit left here, it's got to be a six. This is still the only two on the whole grid. That's unbelievable. We've got three, four, seven, eight, nine finished, and huge amounts of numbers everywhere, but we've only got one, two. That's really quite surprising. Let's not bother with the two. Let's try and do. Oh, what's missing from here? Five and uh, one. So ones are down there. Six. 
is how we're doing on six. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we've got a little logic puzzle at the end here, I think. Uh, either that or I'm just missing something uh, obvious. <laughs> okay, a little tricky at the end here. Right, I'm going to have to put in the candidates, I think. I think I have to. Okay, so we've got a little logic puzzle at the end here. So ones go in those squares. Ones go in these squares. And ones go there. Um, twos are a pair here, a pair there, a pair here, fives go there, and here, and here. And here and there. And sixes go there and there. 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 Okay, that's it. We've only, as I said, we've only got one, two, five, and six to finish off, so uh, right, so we've got one, five, so we're looking for twos up here. We don't know where the twos go. They can go anywhere. Uh, here we are looking for or ones, oh, ones up here in that square, those squares only. And then the twos can come in any of those squares, right? And down here the twos can come anywhere. And over here the ones and the fives can go anywhere. And up here the ones and the fives again can go anywhere, I think. And so we're looking for twos in these squares. And we are looking for twos down here. Right, okay, so phew, what is it that we can do? Looks like it might be a Y wing or something like that. Maybe. Or maybe colouring. Or remote pairs. I can't remember how to do remote pairs though. <laughs> I think something like simple colouring is a I can never remember remote pairs. Uh, first up let's just Let's just go, let's just click on the digits to make sure I haven't missed any obvious patterns. Um, I might have done. They are 
quite a lot of conjugate pairs around. Um, so we might be able to find ourselves a chain or colouring or something. Uh, two looks like a, 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 a nice candidate actually. If we have to do it, let's see. Um, ones. Do we have an X wing on ones here? Hold on. One, one. No, we don't. Damn, I just made that one in the middle. I thought I thought I'd seen uh, one, one. No, we got. Uh, Two, five. So one of those two squares has to be two. That doesn't make sense at the moment. Okay. Now I believe we have an X wing on fives. We've got. Five as a conjugate pair here, we've got five as a conjugate pair up here. So this cannot be five. Okay, trying to so there's a nice little X wing there. But that's not going to solve the game. Is it? Really not. It didn't really even help. The other missing number six. Hmm. I must admit, I fancy the colouring technique for twos. I think that that might be uh, the way to get the answer. I'm going to try a colouring technique on twos with your indulgence. So, uh, all right, let's. Start. Where do where do I begin? Uh, 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 maybe. Hmm. Actually, maybe here. 
yellow, uh, red, yellow, red. Okay, so we have ourselves an in, uh, 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 a yellow and red um, intersecting two here, right? So that should not be two. This has to be a one. So the one will go there. And now we can remove digit one from here and remove digit one from here. Now we're left with a pair of two and five, so this has to be a one. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh, one. Hold that. That's going to put one into this square. Five goes here. Two will be in this square now. Meaning this is a two. And therefore, these can't be two. That must be two. This must be six. The two will be here. Two will be here. Five, six, one, one, five, one. Then will appear here. Uh, five is in that square. This is a two. This will be five. Six means that this is two. Six will appear here. We have a two here, so this will be five. And the last number here to get is two. Oh no, I've got one up here. Uh, so we've got six in that square, and we have five to finish the game. Okay, so uh, yeah, interesting. Like I said, you never can tell what's going to happen with the uh, Washington Post. So I needed simple coloring to finish that game. Uh, if you manage to do it without candidates, um, congratulations to you. Anyway, hopefully that's uh, an enjoyable uh, expert level game for you for your Friday in entertainment because I probably won't be playing any games uh, on Friday. That's it. Bye-bye.